YouTube videos because my microphone is like super quiet and I haven't been able to figure out how to turn it up. I mean, I might be able to. I, I haven't looked super hard into it, but uh, I'm sure there's a way. So if this comes out quiet, uh, I'm going to get to that and just want it set up so that I can flip it on and go, you know. The problem is I've been kind of fucking pissed off or upset. Upset. You know, I went to New York. I'm not in New York right now. I'm in Ohio. I came back to Ohio. And I thought that, uh... I thought it was a fucking mess, man. I thought that New York City was... Busted. No, I mean, I like the city, but... Uh, Occupy Wall Street was a fucking wreck. Shambled. And as you know now, the, uh, the protesters are being cleaned up. Cleared out. Tossed out of the park. Uh, I left because it felt hopeless. Either people are buying space on the moon. People own the moon. Some humans, monkey animals, own the moon. It belongs to these little people on the earth. I mean, sure, in the future, we're going to have laser beams and giant spaceships, so maybe people will, really will be is, is better than the planet. Oh, here's a question. If you own the earth, like a lot, how deep down do you own? Eight feet? You, does it, it's not hopeless. <laughs> I'm sorry, I used to be able to give, to at least, I mean, I used to really believe we were getting better, that society was getting better, uh, that people were coming to terms or in grips with the stupidness of what they are, and that things were changing for the better. Maybe if I, I'm glad I documented it because maybe I, if I watch myself go on and on about how good things are and how good they're getting, then maybe I'll, I'll start to believe it again. But it's tough to say things are okay when, when I don't believe they are okay. I don't. I, oh, it's like, which path do you choose, Ian? They're both fucking available. You can be positive, you can be negative. Or you can try and be both at the same time. I wish that there were no consequences in life. Like, I'm going to take this sword and s just swing it as hard as I can at the webcam and smash it like a baseball. But, you know, there's consequences in life. You can't do stupid shit. Well, of course, you can do stupid shit, but... Wah, wah. What's next? What else? What else? What do you think about perspective? I was thinking about this. When you look at something, and then you turn and you look at it, you realize it is not just the focal point of what you see, but it is the picture itself. Obviously, there's always going to be a focal point, but the entire picture is it. So every time you move, it changes. It's a different thing to you. And you're always moving. You move the same way. I'm trying to embrace the simple life right now, and it's not really working. I get, I get a little far. I mean, I can do simple. Like, you know, working menial jobs, sitting around with my friends and family, just pretending like everything's okay. But I used to be kind of really nice and really positive all the time. 
mean, I just didn't have anything to, to fear or to hate back in the day. I, I had a, a lot of potential and a lot of promise that there was good in people. And uh, I've been so abused, or I abused myself, maybe. I, I let myself get close to my goal and then stop. It's like it's like if you if you go three days without making money, not only do you not make the money, but you made you know, not only did you not make thirty dollars, but you did make zero dollars. So it's kinda like a double whammy. Um, I just got wrapped up in the money system again. I was I was Getting beyond it, and, and to the point where I, I could have been like you know a musician or whatever. But you always get you're okay. We're in the money system. We're gonna have money, but like, kind of like get get my band or my solo career or whatever going to the point where like money wasn't really an issue. Like something like you know Dave Grohl or somebody has their uh, you know they have enough money. And then uh, before that happened, I you know I started second guessing. I started being like, well, I don't want to be rich. I don't want to be one of these people that I that unfairly dominating society so I went back to the rat race to make money and now my life's all about making money and making enough money you know I lived with the wrong people in LA I think I spent some time with people that were really obsessed with money and it, and it really got to me maybe it wasn't the wrong people you know I lived with people that challenge me people that are different that, that see things that are I don't know, my family then is all about money, and it's like, like I just, I kind of want part, I, I want to see what happens if I, if I don't have money, if I, if I just don't have it, and I say, no, I, I don't have it, and I'm not going to give it to you, and if, if I did, I, I'm not going to give it to you. And what are they going to do? Would they put me in jail? Is that eventually what they would do? Is they'd be like, well, you, you used our tax system. You used our roads and our police and our fire and our school or whatever. So now you go to jail. And then they'll put me in jail. And I'll just sit in jail because I didn't give them money. Is that it? If I don't pay my rent, they'll evict me. And then I'll live on the street in the cold and then I'll... It depends on then what, have I, what do I do at that point. Do I beg? Do I plead? Do I look for a way to get back into the system? Do I let myself die? Uh, it's like I could either be a leader or a follower. And I hate being a follower. And I hate being a leader. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I have hate. I didn't used to hate. No, I hated before. I felt hate. But I mean... I, I can't stand being a follower, really. But I don't mind it when people trust me. But you know, usually you're the follower because other people are the ones making the decisions, right? So I'm the leader, and I don't like it because then everyone just does whatever you say. It's really nerve-wracking, and like. Uh, you know, I don't, there's no right answer in life. There's just a way you can do whatever. And when you're at a point, like this is a few years back when my videos were really rocking and I was at, you know, like, whatever. What, I remember the numbers, if they're even, even relevant for me, were like at like 4,000 views every day almost. And it was like, people, I don't know if it was my confidence was like riding high because of that, probably deep down. And uh, people would just do whatever I said. And then it'd be like they'd, they'd, they'd do it and they'd like be like, what's next? And it, it got, I just, I don't know, man. I'm making this up as I go. I don't have a plan. I, I don't know what's best for you. I barely know what's best for me. Ninja kill people like this. I mean, they hold it in front of them like this. Ninja walks into a room. Sorry, the thing's a little low. Ninja don't swing swords. 
Uh, and and you know, big swords are like they're thrown, basically, because you want the momentum to carry the heavy blade. Yeah, of course, there's always slashing weapons, too, but ninja pull their sword out and stab with it forward. Just kill them as fast as you can, as far away from you as possible, and keep moving. I wonder if ninja would have used silenced pistols if they'd had them. I guess they still do now. They're called assassins. So I'm like, either I can do my best and become a leader, or not do my best and be a petty follower. And even in my petty following state, I have this tendency to do, try and do my best at it, and then people are constantly trying to pull, like, get me up out of it and put me in front and and are constantly disappointed when I don't give them that full effort. Uh, does that happen to you? Life is passing me by. People I know are I guess it's inevitable, you know? I, I realized a while ago, either you die or everyone else dies that you know. One or the other. Either you're gonna, <laughs> you know? Either you're gonna keep living and everyone around you is gonna die or you're gonna die. It's one or the other. And uh, I, 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 I like the idea of keeping myself healthy, but it's sad to watch people uh, suffer I guess I wouldn't be happy with billions of dollars doing something I didn't want to do. I mean, I'm still happy. I'm happy right now. Kind of. Not as happy as I've ever been. I've been lauded. I know what it's like to be loved for no other reason than because you entertained someone or made them laugh or put them at ease or made them feel a little better. And all of a sudden, they love you as a person because you did that. It's like, and if you if you make them feel like shit, then they hate you as a person. Um, or if you don't make them laugh, they don't like you. It's like they love you or they don't love you. And if you don't go out of your way to impress people, they don't love you. Some people, maybe your family, but even then, as a as a tiny baby, you're probably impressing them without realizing. Love what they know. It's not. I can't hold it against them. People aren't perfect. They're not built to be perfect. They're not built to be lovers and, and good people. It's like we're lucky that our society has come to a place where we're able to love, where people actually can be good and kind to each other without knowing each other. That's a, that's a really, really beautiful part of humanity, of what makes humanity great, I think. Maybe why we accept our role as the leaders of the planet, if there's such a thing. So I was holding it against people that if I'm funny and on, they love me. If I'm not, they don't. And I think, why don't they love me? I'm the same fucking person. What have I done differently? What, what, I'm not, what am I doing wrong except I have, I'm not getting in front of them doing a little dance, you know? It's like, but if you don't do the dance, you're nothing. So you're treated only as good as what people think of you, uh, I guess. I'm just kind of coming to terms with it. I think I started to be become a little enti I feel a little entitled to people's good be behavior because of I was getting so much positive energy from people, like saying they loved me and shit that. I was like, fuck you, I'm going to act like an asshole, and you're still going to tell me you love me. And they did. And then I was like, fuck you, you're not telling me you love me. It was like, hands in the air, it's over, people suck, people are awful. 
no one has actual love. They're all fair weather. They love you when you're when you're on, you know, and they hate, they don't when you're not. But that's the truth. People, you know, no one likes to go suffer that I know of. Some people do it because they know how. I don't know that they necessarily like it. Maybe they like aspects of it, a familiarity. It's like scratching a mosquito bite. This song is like a tap dance. <laughs> this song. This 16 minute song. This 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 video this album is like a tap dance. It's like I'm like touching on subject after subject rhythmatically, you know. Whatever. Um I wish I could give you some positive advice. Uh digest your food by laying on your back with your arms over your head like this. And when your stomach gurgles, that's the food digesting, either a solid becoming gas or liquid. Other advice I can give you, my friend? You know, I should talk to someone in particular, not just to a camera. I should really find someone on YouTube and talk to them as if I'm telling them something. People like that when I was giving advice, you know? I feel like I would just go to someone's YouTube page, make a bit harsh video response, and shut them down. And then I'd step up a notch. And all, you know, their subscribers would start to watch me, and I'd look around YouTube for the next fucking idiot. No offense, but not really idiots, just people that said something that I disagreed with, and then I'd rip them apart in a video, and I'd step up. It would take me up a notch, and they'd come down. And then when I disappeared, when I stopped making videos, and people lost faith in me, they also lost faith in everyone I'd ever ridiculed, because they trusted that I was ridiculing them because... We had this connection, and we were both moving up together, and that's put me in what I, what I thought of as a leadership position. It's just, you know, whatever. Um, which is funny to say because it's like all these people that I'm like, you're great, you're great, you're great, you're great, and then I become useless. All the other people that watched me tell those people they were great start to think that those people aren't really all that great, which sucks because they actually are great, and it's my fault that I stepped away. Times have changed, man. Times are not the same.